I'm Lucas. I work in a welfare advice service uh, for cancer patients, and I'd like to talk to you about help with the costs of cancer. If you've got a cancer diagnosis, you may find that your income goes down, perhaps because you've had to stop work or working becomes more difficult. At the same time, quite often, you might find that you've got extra costs of various kinds. Sometimes uh, people find that they um, need to pay a lot more for heating because of the effects of their treatment, or they might be traveling a long way to hospital and have increased costs in that way. And both of those together can often create a lot of stress. You may find that you're not able to afford your borrowing anymore. You may be getting into unmanageable debt. People can have problems with their housing situations. For example, they might be getting into rent arrears. Maybe they're no longer able to meet their arranged mortgage repayments. You may find that the place where you're living is no longer suitable for you, perhaps because of the effects of your cancer treatment. And there's actually all kinds of help available in lots of different ways. For example, you should be able to get free prescriptions. It's basically a really simple form um, to fill out and get from your clinical team or your GP. So it's really worth getting advice about that kind of thing. If your um, income has gone down, perhaps because you're not able to work as much as, as before, you might be encountering the um, welfare benefit system for the first time. That's something we come across quite often. And that system can be really complicated. Um, that's why often it's, it's really useful to be able to get advice about your circumstances. You may find that your needs change or your physical abilities have changed in some ways. And what I'd suggest is rather than going out and buying a piece of equipment that you need, maybe first of all consider whether you'd be able to get help through a, an occupational therapist uh, assessment through your hospital or your local social services. Very often people think that they're not going to be able to get any help or that there's nothing available to them. I think that's often not the case. So I'd suggest that you talk to your key worker at hospital, um, your GP, or you could start by looking at the Macmillan Cancer Support website or the Citizens Advice website. They're full of information but also will be able to tell you about local services.